Okay, so I just wanted to do a brief run through anaesthesia at Peyton and Lee. Uh, here we have a horse anaesthetized on the table, and one thing we can do is closely monitor the position of the eye to gauge the depths of anaesthesia. You can see that this horse's eye has rolled downwards and inwards towards the corner, and there's a slow blink reflex there. Uh, so that's a good level of anaesthesia, and I'll show you the other eye in a moment. Uh, here we have direct blood pressure monitoring. This catheter has been placed into an artery and a tube then goes up to a transducer, which you can see on the drip stand there. Uh, and from the transducer, we then get a reading on our ECG and blood pressure monitor. It's the lower reading that's measuring the blood pressure. And the mean blood pressure of this horse is currently 72, which is good. You can see we also had an ECG there, and these are the ECG leads uh, collecting the electric activity of the heart. Uh, one on the sternum, one on the chest wall, and one here on the jugular groove. And also an intravenous line. Uh, here we have a top-up of ketamine in case the horse wakes up in our intravenous line, through which we have continuous fluids flowing. And we also have, on the right-hand side, covered up to protect it from light, a bag containing dobutamine, which uh, makes the horse's heart pump harder and at high doses even pump faster. We also have uh, uh, an endotracheal tube into the horse's airway, um, protecting the horse's airway, but also delivering a mixture of uh, oxygen and anaesthetic gas, which is rebreathed through this bag you can see moving in and out as our patient breathes. The carbon dioxide is removed and then up here the anaesthetic gas and the oxygen is added to the system. Uh, we have a dial on the left that shows us that the oxygen is flowing and at the moment the oxygen is flowing at one and a half litres a minute. And then we have our anaesthetic vaporizer here which we can adjust. Um, I'll just lower the setting to three and a half check that there's still enough of the anaesthetic uh, vapour in there um, and I may just adjust the oxygen flow rate as well which we can adjust on the dial. So that's the vaporizer and the oxygen. And then obviously we want to be monitoring the anaesthetic closely, so we have anaesthetic monitoring sheets on which we write down any drugs that we're given, uh, and the blood pressure, the res respiratory rate, and the heart rate of the horse, so that we can monitor any trends and make sure our horse is okay. Now I said I'd show you the other eye, so if I just go around to the other side here, I'll show you the horse's left eye. And you'll notice that rather than rolled downwards and inwards, this eye has a central position. Uh, and that's quite normal. If we just check the palpebral reflex, then we can see there's a slow blink. And also, you may have seen that teardrop. So there's a nice lacrimation, and that's a good plane of anaesthesia. One eye rolled downwards and one eye central. Here the horse is now in recovery and you can see nystagmus. So as the horse begins to get light and start to wake up, we have the uh, pupil moving backwards and forwards with nystagmus.